really in that first episode, I think I think the character is, is in a state of suspended shock. In a way, it, it's like a new origin story. The Dexter we first meet, his origin story obviously takes us back to that baby in the blood. But now, Dexter's own son is in that blood, and some of that blood is on his hands. Mm. If you had told me when we shot the pilot that the, the character would marry, that the character would become a father, and a, and a, and a father to his own child and the two other children, that he would uh, that he would go to drug rehab as a uh, in an attempt to keep his wife's suspicion at bay. I mean, all the stuff that's happened is kind of beyond anything I imagine. Uh, you know, on, the, on other fronts, I mean, I never thought that there would be a bobblehead of this character <laughs> Video um, game. that I would not hear. <laughs> in as much as we feel pressure because the finale created such a splash, we also feel like the, the landscape is kind of wide open now because so much of what we come to know to be Dexter's world has been taken away. The, the kids uh, at, the, at the end of the fourth season are off to Disney World with Paul's parents, mm -hmm. his first husband, um, and, and they will be in the picture, um, you know, because they're there when the kids, when the news comes. If, if there's anything that's going to allow him to, to get through uh, what's happened to him, it might be uh, his blind emotional spots. Do you think he might be ready to date this season toward the end, or...? I don't think I don't think Dexter's looking for a next a new relationship, or even a hookup kind of. I mean, will you? Is there a chance of that? He doesn't really. His, yeah, and it's not really. I mean, his appetites or his. Um, I think his his impulses to behave compulsively uh, manifest themselves in, in different ways.